You know what I'm going to do first before I get them started? Fellas, you're going to have to join the crew. No. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Come on, guys. Let's go. Get over here. Get over here. here all right, guys. Pretty. So, no, listen. Uh, this is, this is, all right. The reason I rode my bike. Guys, jump in there. Seriously, I want you guys to be in here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to matter. Guys, I want you to meet some of our military heroes here. Um, first of all, thank you guys for, for letting me do this. Hey guys, Al from Anthony here, and I got two military vessels here, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they look like. We're gonna take a quick run around. I'm gonna get a uh, bigger lens. I'm on the side of the road right now. Uh, in that way, we have Miami. This way, we have Miami Beach, government cut. We filmed out of this area. We have the Port of Miami behind us. So, Fleet Week in Miami, has begun for the first time. So people are excited, a lot of people are here. You can get on the actual ships. I don't know if you can still, if they still have tickets available, but they are free. Uh, I'll try to see if I can put a link below. But yes, beautiful. I, I try to get tickets and I couldn't get tickets, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm enjoying seeing them here. I've never seen that here. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the big lens and go a little, a little closer. Well, my friends, we made it over here to the other side. Wow, uh, nice little ride, to say the least. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm able to give you guys a better, much better perspective, right? So here's the port, right, where you see that uh, cargo ship, right? And then if you look here to the right, there it is, right? So that's where the cruise ships are, and that's where the all the Fleet Week uh, U.S. Uh, military vessels are. I'm right now looking for the Truman aircraft carrier, but ironically, it's so far away that I can't even see it with my own eyes. So uh, I wanted to see if I can get a shot of that, but I don't think that's going to happen. This is this is badass. That's what this is. Straight up Navy superiority. Um, oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, look at this, look, 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 look what's right there, look what's right there, wow, oh my goodness, how cool is that, a manatee right here guys, in government cut, um, how awesome is that, right, now, beautiful to see that. Well, this is kind of like what we're here for. So, but wow. Beautiful stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of research, see what they're, um, oh look, 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 the manatee's bringing his head out of the water. They're not just in Black Point, guys. At first, I thought it was a rock. And obviously, in, in, in normal circumstances, we'll have these cruise ships. And the police will also be here for the cruise ships as well. So um, if there's none, they don't really have to be out here. But once there are um, cruise ships, they end up being here. Pretty cool stuff, man. I wish I would have known about this a little earlier. The marketing got to me a little late, but yeah, it must be really cool inside there. Obviously, I'm sure there's things that you cannot show, but how cool would it be to be inside that, huh? Badass. And guys, um, I saw, and I saw them, right? I'm on the side of the road right now. You see some people are passing. I saw, about maybe eight to 10 sailors, male and females, walking um, kind of not far from Pelican Harbor. So, so they're, they're exploring, and I know that they're bringing the ones that are on the USS Truman, which is the aircraft carrier, it's a nuclear aircraft carrier. That's further out, I couldn't even see it um, earlier. 
they're bringing them in so they can go ahead and get shuttled and enjoy Miami as well. So um, they were on a seventh month deployment in the Middle East and the Mediterranean. And uh, how, how awesome is it that, you know, you're serving your country overseas and all of a sudden they're like, hey, guess what? We're gonna take a pit stop in, uh, in Miami. I, I, would, I could imagine the roar when people heard that, right? So, all right, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the destroyers. And uh, yeah, I think I think I think I gotta fig figure out how I can get on this. I don't know. Wait for it. I don't know, guys. You know, you know. Listen, um, if you guys know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, send me some tickets. Luxury rib tenders at gmail.com. So, first of all, guys, it's not every day we have local heroes here. So, look, first of all, thank you for. For your service and what just happened right now you guys just had uh, a nice lunch nice what lunch. what did somebody do just now for you guys Covered our bill. let's go gentlemen <laughs> and, and i'll tell you guys if you see the men and women from our for, from from our services right to do what you can uh, i'm glad and i saw it, it, was, it was an awesome gesture i mean being in miami having somebody do that is crazy okay so you guys just came in on the baton a couple days ago. First time Fleet Week in Miami, I believe, right? Yes. Port Everglades, you guys would do that over there. We have uh, not, but I but, so. but but yes. but but in yeah, past, in the past. Dude, Miami. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> All right, so have you so 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 let me know for maybe some young people that might not know what you guys do, right? So you guys are on the ship, how long, how how long within the year, right? Is uh, on your mission or whatever you guys are doing. How long are you on the the ship? So, uh, oh, introduce yourself, by the way. My, my name is Sergeant Martin. <laughs> okay, Martin. Uh, so, for the Marines, when we are on ships, it's for our uh, our Muse, our Marine Expeditionary Units. Okay. Um, and we will uh, we'll go out on those to um, a certain area for. Uh, Everything is vague here, guys. Remember, <laughs> so so, but but you have certain times, right? Yes. Yeah, and, so and, and those times can get extended. Okay, so, so. things change quickly based okay. on what's happening in the world because you guys make sure that guys like me can be free and do everything you want. So thank you, first of all, for your service, right? Um, I'm sorry. Can, can I? Can we? Go, go, go ahead. Go in there. Get in there. Get in there. That's why they're here. <laughs> Get in there, get in there, guys. This is, this is, this is a, a, a awesome ambush. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, hey, it's not my fault if you guys become heartthrobs before you guys get out of here. Okay. All right. Um, so, so you guys can be here. Things change. Things move around based on what's happening. You're here for Fleet Week. Technically, if they need you right now, you're like, back to the ship. Let's go. We gotta go. So we have the Truman. Uh, out, out three miles offshore. I'm sure they were able to come in here as well. Yes. Cool. And then we have two smaller ships that are with you guys. Those are what are destroyers. What are what are those ships? Uh, you guys are marines, so yeah, I'm not going to expect the, the navy guys. We, I mean, <laughs> we don't know much about those, but I definitely know they're there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the marines, see guys. Uh, I see them. So okay. So for certain young people, right, if they're interested and in say, hey, I want to I want to join the Marine Corps. I mean, you guys obviously took the leap and said, hey, listen, I want to serve my country. I want to do what I want to do. Um, what would you tell young people that they may not know? Like like a lot of people don't know that you guys are able to do this in, in multiple places in the world. Right. You can do this wherever you go. So you guys get free travel and stuff, so, essentially. Uh, pretty much like travel in the world. Yeah. Lifts and weights all day. Shooting guns are free. It's like, I don't know. Pretty good job to me. Kind of a no yeah. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are gonna be here. Have you gone to anywhere down here in South Florida that you've really enjoyed, or do you have anything planned that you're gonna go anywhere else? All the uh, beachfront areas. Ocean Drive. Awesome. awesome. Amazing, right? Uh, Any first timers here from Miami? First timer. First -timer. Wow. Yes. Ocean Drive, getting off the. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. Where else? Um. We haven't got out too much yet. Uh, we're trying to check out a couple different places. 
a lot of people have been recommending Brickle, I think it's what's Brickle, called. right? So Brickle, guys, if I've done some walking tours, you guys will enjoy Brickle. I would tell you, just make sure that you're dressed up. The ladies are going to be all over you. So guys, ladies, look at this. I got ambushed while I'm here. Okay, so you guys are going to go here. Were you guys overseas or anywhere right lately? Because I heard something on the news that some of the ships were overseas. So you guys can be in the roughest water. My, my channel is mostly about boats. Have you seen any like crazy, like really bad weather while you guys have been on the ship? Like nasty? Do you feel it? Luckily for us, we uh, we just got on the ship like last week, so okay. we're not stationed on the ship. We're okay. luckily on land, but okay. we meet up with the ship and they we sailed down with them. So okay. luckily it was clear sailing the whole. And way, anybody so. needs drama mean yet or no? No, no, no not yet. It's probably a couple, but <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's gotten sailing. used to it. Yeah. Okay, so I did while I was filming. I saw there's some helicopters and so so. Could anybody explain some of the the, the stuff that's on that, like that was visually uh, seen? You got some. What, what does the baton do? So, the, uh, the helicopters that are, are up there right now, mm -hmm. I believe we have uh, a couple Blackhawks, uh, some 53s, Osprey, Ospreys, and, and the Cobra. So, what is the primary job of that ship? Like, I, obviously, they, they basically help us get to shore. Okay. So they'll take Marines. And so you're going to be the first ones. Boom. Quick. Correct. That's why there's a, a door in the back. Yeah, so you guys can, can. We load our vehicles up there. They can take us via like hovercrafts onto land or by air, and they'll insert us to our area of operation. Interesting. I mean, you're, you're that's that's definitely cool. Yeah. Like, hey, get in my Humvee and let's get on some <laughs> random beach yeah, somewhere. Sorry, yeah. You know. Um, so, so going back to young people, right? Because some people are going to question that, right? Some people, hey, I want, I want the structure of whether it's the Army, the Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, or whatever. They, what would you tell them, uh, somebody that might be interested in the Marines? Like, I wouldn't even have known that, hey, you guys are going to be stationed on this ship, you know, with sailors, and, you know, and that's primarily your job. So what would you tell them? So I would say if, uh, if you're looking for like a family away from your family, okay, and, uh, like the team aspect, yeah, uh, that's probably the biggest takeaway you'll get from the military in general. The Marine Corps itself, from what I've found working with the other uh, branches, mm -hmm. is we tend to be a lot more closer, uh, smaller, tight-knit community, and uh, friendships last a lifetime. Okay, and that, that follows up to my next question, right? How old are you guys? How old are you? 22. 22. 23. 23. 23. 23. 21. 21. 21. Okay, so you're early 20s. 20 years from now, I'm going to ask this question to all you guys. 20 years going forward, what are you going to think about this moment that you're experiencing in the military? The best time. Well, it's making memories. Okay. Well, Robbery in the memories, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Uh, I would say anytime we get to travel, to a new place, uh, you make memories with your brothers that will last a lifetime. So yeah. This one being Miami, <laughs> it, it's gonna you're gonna make memories. Yeah. I'm gonna remember this one. I've already yeah, made a couple. Definitely gonna make memories, and at the end of the day, we're getting paid to be out here, drink beer at night. So. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So the the fun stuff. How long do they let you stay off the ship? Till zero one. Yeah. So one in the morning, we gotta oh, be back, back on the ship. Okay. So wow. So you guys can experience the nightlife of Miami for real. Yeah. A little bit. That's not to the full extent, extent, nobody not going to back to ship, guys. There's nobody. The extent, there's nobody going back on the baton. <laughs> yeah, I won't be back tonight. Exactly. All right. Well, listen. Uh, introduce yourself because I want all your names on 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 camera. Uh, Sergeant Orlando, Sergeant Nosek, Sergeant Martin, Sergeant Corin. Guys, this is why I came over here. I, I'm, I mean, I've been driving that bike. I'm, I tell people joking around, I'm six five, two twenty five, and ripped. <laughs> How tall are you guys? Six foot five. There you go. Five, there you go. I look like I'm 4-1 right now, guys. Guys, Alfred Mountain are making a scene as always. Our Marines, our sailors are here, Fleet Week. If you got a chance to get on their ship, get on there. Uh, you said late in the day, it's kind of like the, the slowest time? Yes. So do you guys have to work the ship, like when people are there? So yes. it, it interchanges. So you show some of the guests around. Exactly. Is there anything that are, are off limits, any areas off limits? Uh, they'll be they'll be marked off. Okay. Uh, you'll have tour guides when you come on to the ship. Cool. And uh, uh, if you do want to come by, feel free to ask questions to the Marines and sailors on board. We'll be happy to talk to you. 
And uh, is there like a recruiter number that that somebody if somebody wanted to join the Marines, is there a way to contact? So if you're if you're interested and uh, anything we just talked about kind of struck your interest, you're not really sure what you want to do in the next step of your life. Uh, head down to your local recruiter and ask about the opportunities the Marine Corps can provide for you. Uh, I'm sure you'll be satisfied with the answer given. That man looks straight at the camera. He didn't even look at me, guys. Alfred Martin and Megan Cena, as always. Hey, gentlemen, go, go, go have some fun. Thank you so Thanks, much sir. for Thank your you. stuff. Thank, you so, Thank you so much, guys. All right, guys, we're out of here. Wow.